According to a person familiar with the Duke of Sussex's thoughts, the newspaper would like to hear that he wants to make up with his family. However, royal allies have written off any such plans as fantasy in the newspaper's reporting. A fresh account stated that the Duke was given a royal residence to stay in during his recent trip to London, but he declined on security grounds, bringing the issue of reconciliation back to the forefront of public attention. The invitation may have provided an opportunity to spend some time together outside of their hectic schedules, according to The Telegraph. Unlike the hotel he chose, the royal residence that the Duke was given did not have a private entrance, which worried him, according to the article. This new information has further complicated the already convoluted web of allegations regarding the Duke's family's treatment of him, and we have reached out to the Duke's representative for response. It comes after a wave of British media pieces calling for a reconciliation between the royal family and the Sussexes, more than four years after the couple stunned the establishment by departing from the royal family and beginning a string of candid interviews and the Duke's memoir. A reliable source has informed the Daily Beast that the Duke is eager to end the animosity between him and his family, and it seems like he is getting more and more eager to reconcile. It fits in with what the Duke said about it publicly not long ago. While visiting the United Kingdom earlier this month, he expressed his sadness that his father, the King, had declined to meet with him. However, he made a point of leaving the door open, adding that he hoped to meet with his father soon. An excerpt from the Duke's statement in Ahmed Scobie's most recent book Endgame, states that he no longer wants an apology from his family, for what he claims is their prejudiced treatment of the Duchess, and that he simply wants to move on. According to reports, the Duke proclaimed to a pal, I'm ready to move past it. Who can say for sure if I will receive an apology or blame? Who gives a hoot now? He extended another hand of friendship by rebutting Oprah Winfrey's accusations of racism and recasting the prejudice as unconscious bias. Scobie unintentionally drew attention to the feud by revealing in a translated edition of the book that the King and Catherine had commented on the probable race of the Sussex's unborn boy Archie in a rush. In recent days, I've been speaking with several Windsor friends, and it's interesting to note that while many of them are sympathetic to the Windsor's main grievance, that the Duke betrayed their trust in his book, they also imply that the Windsors and their circle are just as tired as the Sussexes are of the feud that has dominated royal narrative for years. It appears that the Prince of Wales is the main obstacle to reconciliation, as previously stated. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more of the same. See you